Welcome to our 22nd Annual International Conference, Privacy as a Business Risk for Top Management, Compliance in the Credit Crunch. A first for some news that we've reported in our international newsletter over the last year. There have been new data protection laws in India, Morocco, and Uruguay, which is applying for EU adequacy status to follow Argentina, and there's been a new data protection bill in Turkey, which is applying for EU membership. There have been some very large fines in the United States and Spain uh, and France, and the law has been changed in the United Kingdom to permit fines, the regulator, the Information Commissioner, to impose fines in the UK as well. The law has been strengthened in New Zealand and Israel in order for those countries to win EU adequacy status, which is expected to be arranged around the end of this year. More countries have joined the Binding Corporate Rules Mutual Recognition Club, that is, each national authority within the EU recognising each other's recognition of companies which have, um, have acceptable levels of binding corporate rules. And by an amazing coincidence, Germany amended its data protection law just last Friday, July the 3rd, to introduce several elements to strengthen the role of data protection officers in companies and also introduce for the first time data breach rules. So next I'll go on to how privacy can be a business risk for top management and things that companies should look out for over the next year or so. The first of all is the combination of consumer law and data protection law. There is quite the possibility of class actions or collective actions for consumers getting together to pursue privacy claims within Europe. And BEOC, the European Consumer Organization, is conducting research in the 13 or so countries which have this facility, and companies should look out for such collective actions. Next, the rise of privacy advocates. In the 1970s, there were consumer advocates. In the 1980s, environmental advocates were very strong, and now such groups have been joined by privacy advocates uh, campaigning either on general issues such as surveillance or specific issues such as biometric passports or against RF RFID chip chips beyond the supermarket. Companies should also look out for alliances between national data protection authorities and other agencies with stronger teeth or longer reach. Examples are alliances between in the UK, the Information Commissioner's Office and the Financial Services Authority and Trading Standards Officers, which have offices all around the UK. In Italy, there's been there is a formal agreement between the National Data Protection Commission, the Garante, and the Guardia di Finanza, the financial police, which also have offices all around the country. And the, in the US, there have been regulatory action taken by both the Federal Trade Commission and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Privacy pops up in unexpected places, such as monopolies and mergers policy, um, in cases involving tax law, as in Canada, in employment issues, is re the traditional relationship between data protection law and employment law is seen in the recent uh, case in Germany where Lidl was found to be, management was seen to be spying on its employees, attracting a great deal of union and media attention for installing hidden cameras and hiring investigators to watch for theft amongst its general uh, a large number of employees. And the, one of the things in the recent German law has been to address that the saying that companies should have, or management should have, specific fears of really concrete issues before imposing such intrusive techniques in. And in Italy, uh, an even more unusual case involved with the criminal law, where Google executives have been indicted in the Milan court for allegedly not quickly taking down enough, not quickly enough taking down a video, a YouTube video involving the bullying of a person with learning difficulties. And I should add that, that case is not being supported by the Garante, it's an initiative of the local Milan prosecutor. The next issue to think about is the role of privacy standards. The Spanish National Commission has taken initiative to draft privacy standards which have been done involving all sorts of stakeholders, not only national data protection authorities but also companies, academics, lawyers and international institutions such as the OECD. The question will be um, what will be the status of these standards 
certainly the Spanish Commission is aiming for a recommendation by this year's International Conference of National Data Protection Authorities, which is taking place in Madrid in November. And then the question will be, will that recommendation go on to become a UN convention? Consensus seems to be not any time soon, but any standards will be adopted will provide a framework for interoperability between the higher EU data protection directive and the lower level of principles offered by the APEC Asia Pacific privacy principles. In terms of the subtitle of the conference, compliance in the credit crunch, um, some issues where the credit crunch is affecting privacy managers and privacy departments in companies. There's many companies noticing the delay in launch launching new data protection law projects, some difficulty in making changes to systems which are required after data breaches, and resorting to reactive measures when the money's, because the money is not there, rather than implementing preventative measures, which would be the ideal situation. So we can see that recession could lead to a damage to companies' brands if privacy um, programs are suffering from neglect due to budget cuts, because everywhere staff are being cut, cut and data protection audits have been delayed, with less spending on training, conferences and areas for professional development. So the challenge for companies are to look out for these issues, privacy issues being integrated with other subjects um, uh, along the line, and um, we should, the company should expect data breach laws to be coming in at both national and EU level in Europe, um, following the US to some extent, starting with the um, telecoms companies and internet service providers but we could forecast data breach rules being extending to other sectors over the next two or three years. The challenge for companies is to regard this as an opportunity to embrace the sort of value-added privacy that can be gained from having relevant products and services which reflect privacy values.